Hey guys and welcome to episode 11 of our, of our Portsmouth Youth Squad Legends career mode. We're going to start off this episode with a monthly scout report from Korea and we get Pyon Chol Mok. He, had, he was there last uh, last month but his potential has dropped since. Ray Song Hwang, uh, his potential is still pretty decent so we'll sign him. Sang Hun Sip, we're going to release him. Yi Jun Sin, we're going to reject him. Sung Soo Oh, we're going to reject him as well. Yoon Jin Park, oh, this guy looks good, 93 potential. We're going to sign him. And Seo Jun Bang, uh, we're going to keep him. Oh, we've got another one as well. Hyun Ki Yun, we'll get rid of that guy. But this guy, Bang, we're going to keep him just for now. See if his potential goes up. So I was told in the last episode, in the comments, that I should do less admin work, so less of this screen here and more footage, like gameplay footage. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ignore this bit now and go straight into the game. Our first game of the episode is away against Coventry City in the league. Visitors into this game, the qualities that have made them the highest scoring team in the league to this point. Well, that's in the oh no, don't tell me. Oh no, Kovac is injured early on in the game. And what a poor start. We're gonna have to bring on oh, we'll bring on Henriksen on the right. What a shit start. Oh he's through here. Luthi. Leonardo Luthi. He's through. Luthi! Yes! 1-0. As soon as I change the formation, we get some space. And we go 1-0 up. What a finish from Luthi. Looks like that guy's squaring up to his own keeper. That was pretty much a... Uh, who scored a goal like that? Lukaku on the weekend. He scored a goal exactly like that with his left foot against Man City. That was the Lukaku goal. Even though he's much worse than Lukaku rating wise. And from a completely different country. But nevertheless, 8th goal in the league for Leonardo Luthi. And it's 1-0 Portsmouth. No, nah, no way. I tackled him. I headed the ball away and I tackled him. They shouldn't have scored that. That is ridiculous. Look at this now. Headed down. Okay. There, I tackled him. How has he still got the ball there? Fuck's sake. Commentary, dirty little cheats. Ah, finish one all. What a shit game that was. Havel Kovac is out for three months. Another guy with a broken ankle. Fuck's sake. Our second game of the episode is home against Berry, And we've decided to resort to the 4-4-2 diamond. Since they changed the game in the last game against Coventry. So let's get into the game. Well it's the old joke isn't it Alan. Diamonds aren't forever but they are. For this oh game. no. Oh, fuck's sake. Early on to the game you give away a penalty. Come on Hamilton. It's Campos for Berry to take the penalty. Oh, and he's fucked it up. It Stays nil nil. It's Horn. That's a good ball into Denton. Bent into Horn! Yes! Bjorn Horn back on the score sheet. And it was Ben Denton with the assist. So after conceding the penalty, but then not scoring, Bjorn Horn does a cheeky little passing thing with Denton off the inside of the post and into the net to make it Pompey 1 and Berry 0. It's Rizzo now into Horn. Into Gustavo back into Horn! He's back, lads and women. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you Bjorn Horn. Look at that. Again, cheeky one, two. Great ball from Gustavsson. And Bjorn Horn with that deadly left foot. Puts it in the corner. Almost sliced it in a way to make it Bjorn Horn to Barry Nil. And there's the halftime whistle. We're leading 2 0. 
And with this formation change, Bjorn Horn has managed to get back on the score sheet and improve his goal tally to, to remain the top goal scorer for now. Here's Barry, and they've got a consolation goal. It's poor defending, really, and it's it's two one. And there's the whistle. We managed to scrape a 2-1 lead. Well, not scrape. We were comfortably in the lead. Bjorn Horn getting both goals. And we end up winning 2-1. We get a monthly scout report from Ivory Coast. And we get Cheek Koulibaly. Potential's not that good, so we're going to release him. Cheek Dabogo got the same sort of potential. We release him. Ismail Diabate, we're going to release him. Modesti Diao, we're going to reject him, and Ibrahim Kouami, we're going to reject him as well. Our third and final game of this episode will be away against Chesterfield. Now, Ariibi now for Chesterfield, he's got the pace that we can't catch up to him. He's going to whip a ball in, oh he's going to go for the cutback, it is in, oh my god, how's that gone in? How is that going to... Oh, 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 fuck's sake. Angel or Angel. I don't know where the fuck he's from. I never heard of him. But how has that gone in, honestly? Near post and he's beaten. He, he literally had it covered. Come off his arm and bounced up in the roof of the net. And it's 1-0 Chesterfield. Fang around with the ball in. And it's Scott... Oh, it's in. It's an own goal. Is it going to count as my goal, though? And I think it's an own goal. Scott headed the ball down. And it's fumbled through the Chesterfield defence and went over the line. Is it an own goal? It is an own goal. And it's Angel again on the score sheet. But going the wrong way. And suddenly we're back in the game. Russo now into Rizzo. Rizzo to get us into the lead. We're in the lead. Come on. Good finish from Rizzo as well. Nice touch onto his right foot. Places it into the corner. And it's 2-1 to Portsmouth. It's Wren. And there's the half-time whistle. So there's been three goals in this half, and we've got two of them, one of them being an own goal. But nevertheless, we are in front. And there's a full-time whistle. We managed to scrape a 2-1 win here, away at Chesterfield. I think we're away. Yeah, we're away at Chesterfield. And yeah, we come away with three points. So that's the end of the episode. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I will see you in episode 12.